What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com and today I'm back with a brand new video and I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get more control over things like the shadows and the highlights in your images by harnessing the power of luminosity masks in Photoshop. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use luminosity masks to enhance the highlights and target specific areas of an image in Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. Here I've got a nice stock photo of this pretty awesome and intimidating looking grizzly uh, that I just downloaded from my stock photo account on Deposit Photos. But of course you guys can use any kind of image for this that you want. Now these techniques that I'm about to show you guys work well for nature photos, for portraits, for animals pretty much anything, so don't feel like you have to use this exact image to get this same effect. Now all I'm going to do is just double click on the background layer here and click OK to unlock it. And you can call it pretty much anything you want. I'm just going to call it Grizzly, Grizzly, whatever, Grizzly is fine. And then I'm just going to come over here to my channels and what you want to do is hold down the command key or control if you're on a PC and you'll notice that as I do that, I'm getting this box here with kind of a broken line around it. And that just means that, you know, if I click this layer, I'll get a selection. So what it's doing here is basically grabbing all of the highlight areas from my RGB composite channel. So if I come back over here to my Layers tab, I can now add an adjustment layer from the bottom of my Layers palette. And what that means is that while my selection is active, I can come down here to the Adjustment Layer icon, Let's just go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer. So you'll see in the mask right here, it's all black and white, and it's basically just targeting very specific areas of the image based on my channels. So if I now kind of create a point in the center and I drag it up, you'll see that I'm lightening up the image. It's, it's you know bringing out the highlights here, especially in the darker shadow areas. So it's a very cool way to be able to kind of target those areas. So another nice thing about that is that I can come back here to my channels, hold down the command key and click on RGB once again. And this time I can press command shift I to invert the selection and then come back down and do the same thing at a curves adjustment layer. And now I'll be targeting the shadow areas of the image. So you see by inverting it, I'm kind of controlling you know, the opposite or, or creating a selection that is the opposite of my first one. And you can tell when I do that over here in the curves and the layer mask. So another cool thing is we don't have to just deal with black and white. We can come up here to this tab that has RGB and we can select one of these channels like green or blue. Now once I do that, I can you know play around with these sliders to really pull out some more colors from this or to alter the colors that are already there. And that just creates a more kind of you know a different mood for the image. All right, so it's kind of a cool effect there. And you can also go ahead and change you know the blending mode of any of these adjustment layers as well. So I think for something like this, you could try, you know, maybe color. Looks pretty good and it's kind of subtle. And then you can also lower the opacity to around 50% or so just to create a more subtle effect. And let's just go ahead and, you know, do that one more time. So I'm going to come back to my channels, hold down the command key, click on that thumbnail to create a selection, come back to my layers tab. And this time I'll add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Now, while that's selected, I can boost the saturation all the way up, and you guys can kind of see what that looks like as I toggle the visibility on and off. You really notice it over here in the grass where you can kind of see the saturation coming up a bit. All right, but that is really kind of a, a cool way to kind of target specific areas of an image to increase the detail and lighten it up. So you can really do this with any kind of adjustment layer that you guys want to really be able to manipulate and have even more control over your images. So another thing that I might do is add a black and white adjustment layer and then change the blending mode to soft light to create some contrast. All right, and that's kind of a nice trick that works well. And overlay is kind of the same, you know, same thing here, just creates more contrast in the image overall. And what's nice about this too is that because they're all adjustment layers, it's completely non-destructive. So that means I can you know, manually brush in or out any areas that I want to either hide or reveal. So let me come back down here to my curves. Maybe I want to you know, control the green a little bit more. 
And you can see just by moving the slider around, I'm able to pull out some more green here. But you're not limited to just green. You can do the same thing with either the blue or the red to create some kind of cool color effects here. All right, and then if I select my bottom curves adjustment layer, hold down the shift key and select my top one so that they're all selected, I can put them into a group folder by pressing command G, just call it FX, and then I can turn the visibility on and off so that you guys can see the difference. So if I zoom in a little bit here, you can really tell the before and the after, how especially in the hair, it's pulled out a lot of those details. So it's a great way for you guys to get in there using these luminosity masks and channels in order to have further control over any of your images in Photoshop. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you learned some new tips and tricks along the way. If so, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to sign up for our email list, guys, and be the first to know anytime some new content drops. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.